Welcome to Season 7, Episode 8 of the Heart of Bastrop Talk Show. I'm TJ Finn. And I'm Connie Schrader. And this is going to be a fun episode. We have an old friend with us. We do, with Ron Stone. American Badass Whiskey, that's my favorite. I can't wait to hear what's going on with him. And he has a new... A different perspective on the word badass, which some people would be like, ooh, don't be saying that word. But I like how he, I, I think he's got some news for us. Yes, absolutely. And I also have a dear friend, Jay Head, who, uh, I'll just wait and let you guys meet Jay. I don't want to give away too much, but he has a few things to say. So let's take a look at it. So we're here today with my good friend, Ron Stone with Garage Old Spirits American Badass Whiskey. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Hell yes. People at Bastrop are familiar with a, a Badass Whiskey. Um, we've A lot of them have met you before. at the We did the Sizzling Summer Nights concert series with yep. Garth's daughter, Allie, and, and Brody Caster, and uh, Aaron Lacombe, and all those great guys. We sure we had a had good a time, good didn't time. we? <laughs> yes, and, we did. And didn't people love that whiskey? They loved it. Yeah. It was such a big hit. And the, yeah. your, the bottle is still just a keepsake. It's oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's nostalgic, but it's new. So tell us a little bit and about that. And now we've got new bottles and new yes. well, new products and stuff that are that are coming out that are made with the whiskey. But let me tell you about what you just said about nostalgic and the way it feels like it's been around for a while. It was born with an iconic feeling right from the get-go. It, it, nostalgia is built into it, mm -hmm. and that's on purpose. That comes from me being a writer where I'm working with people subliminal of what they think and feel before they even know why. When they look at that garage oil bottle and has that old uh, iconic hot rod on it and the look of that bottle that looks like it's an old oil can with a, with a globe from an old gas pump out there, what happens is, is people have happy thoughts of nostalgia, which means they think of their own cool, fun memories. So that's what's really fun and different about the brand is that it has a built-in, inherent feeling of fun and happiness that comes from your memories and not just from what we're going to create in the future. So it feels iconic and we're just getting started. And you I drink a badass Rita and you get to have new memories. <laughs> That's right. Well, now you're canning. That. So, guys, the badass Rita, I, I got to taste it early on and I just fell in love. And then I got to taste the first batch of the badass bitch. And I'll tell you, <laughs> now you're going to put them in cans. I can, I can put them in my cooler and take them with me where I go. I love it. So, these are the prototypes. These are the very first printed cans that I completed the design on. And so now we've been shown what they look like. Uh, the actual real juice isn't in here yet, but it's getting ready to come out here in a couple of months. But these are what the cans are gonna look like. And yes, there's six flavors and they are all amazing. And I, you know, I created them, so I'm gonna say that, but you can attest to it. And when we were out there and having people trying this at the shows and stuff, wasn't just from everybody. Like the People rave about these things. Cause A, Absolutely. that whiskey is the smoothest whiskey you're ever gonna drink. And then you put it in with these mixers and it's just unbelievable. Oh, and who yeah. can make a dang margarita style drink? Because it's called the badass arita. Why, why drink a regular margarita when you can have a badass arita? But you'd be amazed, right? Tell me this in the truth. If you're going to drink a margarita and this has got whiskey in it, isn't it as good as any other margarita? Better. 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 It's, yeah. it's just better. Well, and so I love you can the drink name. whiskey and drink all these cool drinks, then now you can also eat this wonderful whiskey. <laughs> eat your, eat your, right, eat your whiskey. I didn't think of it like that. <laughs> Tired of drinking whiskey? Let's eat some. Um, so it. so what we did was is that, uh, you know, part of this brand is, is more than just whiskey. We're really looking at lifestyle, right? People that have a certain lifestyle, they're going to go to those type of uh, summer concert series. They're going to go to NASCAR. They're going to go to car shows, go to barbecue cook-offs. So we want to be a part of their lives in a lot of different ways and bring garage oil fun into it. So now we have these series of sauces called American Badass Sauces, and all of them get uh, made with a nice little portion of that garage oil whiskey in there. And they are all super, super cool. And now people can, even if they're not drinking whiskey, if they find this either on our website or we'll start getting to stores, they can see that this food product is made with this whiskey. And maybe if they didn't think about the whiskey, they'll say, hey, that dang sauce is so good, I better go try that whiskey. But even if they're not drinkers, they can now incorporate their, you, you don't get the alcohol in this, by the way, it's just the flavor. But um, you will be able to enjoy some of our products that don't necessarily have to do with sit down and drink a glass of whiskey or whatever. Well, so, tell us about all four flavors because there's quite a variety. Yes. So this is the red sauce, which is a traditional like enchilada red. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's great that on great. yeah, great on tamales and tacos. While you're drinking the badass. While you're drinking. Red. Well, listen. <laughs> let me right. tell you, that is the truth. You drink a badass arita and you have yourself a taco and some red sauce and you're you're good to you're go for the whole to day. Go. Yes. Um, or with guacamole and chips, even just easy. Uh -huh. 
Um, we have, this is probably the one that gets the most notoriety. We started out with this when we first opened up um, with Garage Roll. In fact, the first day that we had our, our grand opening party, we had a, um, a barbecue set up and we were t introducing the sauce to kind of get a feel for it. people like it. This dang sauce is called Slather. This is a barbecue style sauce and it's called Slather because you want to slather it on anything. And I mean, put it on a tennis <laughs> shoe and it's good. This is an amazing um, barbecue style sauce. Then um, we have a wing sauce made with the whiskey and this is, uh, along the lines of a traditional buffalo hot wing sauce, uh, not blazing, blazing hot, not where you, anybody can't eat it, but it's kind of past medium to hot. And it's, I, I put some things in there that no other uh, wing sauces use, and it is unbelievable. It sounds and then good. steak sauce, of course. You got to have some steak sauce, get you a nice big steak, nice glass of whiskey, you're set to go. And so these are our American Badass sauces. These products are out now. You can get them on the website at garageallspirits.com. These are coming in, uh, hopefully, in just a couple of months. And then, of course, the whiskey is out there on the shelves. And the most important thing about our whiskey right now is we're, the, we're like the little guys, right, fighting the big boys. And we're trying to make our name out there and fight for that, that shelf space. So we need folks to go out there and really hound their managers and store clerks and say, please, we want to buy our American Badass Whiskey at your liquor store and get out there and get in there. Because as a manufacturer of this one of the things that people don't uh, understand about the distribution is we basically have to pick off liquor stores one at a time right so we're we're in already over 250 liquor stores throughout texas which is pretty amazing for us as a pretty new company but we need to grow and grow and grow that and the way we do is that the public goes out and asks for it and then the manager right. says, I better call up and get some of that whiskey in here because people are asking for it. And they'll do it. We Ask your bars, ask your liquor stores. I tell you, I did that in Rock Springs. I was going to mention I that. have a ranch, yeah. I went in there to get a bottle of your whiskey and they didn't have it. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Excuse me? That is not okay. So now they carry it in Rock Springs, Texas at our local liquor stores. So. And that's exactly the experience. You went in there. As a customer saying, I want this, and they go, well, gosh, if people are asking for it, I better get it in here. And we have a huge distribution uh, company that we work with. So any liquor store can just call up our, our Republic is the dist uh, distributor. Anybody can do it. If they've got a customer and they want it, they'll get it on their next delivery. What so, I just learned, it. TJ, is the squeaky wheel gets the whiskey. That's right. The squeaky that's wheel right. gets the whiskey. Right. Well, go out and be a squeaky wheel. <laughs> that's right. Go be a squeaky wheel, guys. So I will say, Connie... Uh, I have shot this whiskey, and it is so smooth. And I'm a girl, right? So I'm not going around trying to, oh, give me a shot of that whiskey. And at first I thought, you know what? I'm just going to try it. It didn't even burn. Really smooth. It didn't, it didn't, it's amazing. You know what I'm super proud of is exactly what you just said. Whiskey drinkers are going to drink whiskey and love whiskey. That's their thing. What I wanted to do was open up and broaden the audience for this whiskey. The additive, I, I created this, as you know. There's an additive that I create that goes in the whiskey that smooths out that burn, makes the inherent flavors brighter and better. And so more people who were not traditional whiskey drinkers can now enjoy this. And I hear it all the time. I can't drink whiskey. I don't like whiskey. Then they drink this and they go, but I like this whiskey. And you put that on a glass of uh, over ice with a little bit of water and it's almost like a cocktail unto itself before you can put a mixer in it. So it's for people that may not necessarily be whiskey drinkers. As for people that love whiskey and want to have the, an unbelievable experience. That's amazing. We, we heard that you have some other exciting things coming up. You want to tell some secret what? stuff. Secret stuff. You want to. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really cool thing that we're doing. And this is going to be um, on primetime national television here pretty soon. There is a uh, television show that's called Iron Resurrection. That's mm -hmm. on the Motor Trans channel. It's one of their top number one shows. That show happens to be produced right down here in Dripping Springs, Texas, mm -hmm. at the company um, Martin Brothers Customs. And those guys have that TV show, and they make the coolest hot rods in the world. So we have partnered with them, and right now, they are making the American Badass Whiskey Van for us right now in their shop. As a matter of fact, on October 26th, so that's coming up here pretty soon for us, I'm going to go down for the reveal show. And we're going to film the show where they reveal the van to us that everything's finished up. So now we will have made this show on national TV. And they're going to air it in their, when next season starts over three full of their episodes for this one van. Wow. So it is going to be the wow. coolest like uh, coming out party for American Badass Whiskey through this kind of... You know, that's our audience, by the way. Th those folks that, that, that watch this stuff, they're going to go nuts for this. And they have a huge following and a huge audience. It's international. So we're excited about that. And then... There's something about that that's a secret that's going to be revealed on the show. 
and you can only know what that secret is if you watch the show because oh, it's going to be go. big. Wow, cool. there you have it, guys. Definitely uh, Iron Resurrection. Watch, uh, look out for that episode. American Badass uh, Whiskey Van. American Badass Whiskey Van. I love your cool wrapped cars. I've seen your, your truck that turns into a bar, okay, yeah, yeah, your, yeah. which is amazing. I, I'm surprised every cowboy around here doesn't have one of those. And my Hot Rod Challenger. And your Hot Rod Challenger. It's amazing. So I, I thought you said my wrapped vehicles. I thought I was maybe going down the road. <laughs> No, 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 it's the wrapped vehicles. Yeah, I get it. No, they're, they're awesome, aren't they? Yeah, they I are. I get incredible. stopped all the time. I mean, I literally get people saying, I had to turn around on the highway to come stop your car because I got to know what that is. They do their job because, you know, the, the brand is just cool looking. The whole thing when I created this was, you know, I have that movie background. So mm -hmm. I, I have created a lot of things, a lot of creative things in my life. So I put creativity into this. Unlike other, this isn't just some brown liquid in a, in a plain bottle. This is Garage Roll American Badass Whiskey, and it has attitude. It has presence. It feels like it has history, and it will create a history. But it also, remember the uh, hot, Legend of Hot Rod Rick that I created? Yes. This, this, has, this has much more to it that has an entertaining, full-fledged branding feeling for a company that you can feel like you're connected to, as Absolutely. opposed to just drinking a bottle of some whatever. Right. This is American Badass let's Whiskey. Let's talk about, Ron, tell our audience, what is a badass? You know what a badass is? This is, this is, I'm glad you asked me that <laughs> because it's super important that we understand why I incorporated badass into this brand because we've already done some really interesting things with that. A badass is somebody that gets up and gets their work done. They have a focus on what their goals are and they put one foot in front of the other and they get it done, but they have a purpose that they're working with. And that purpose is, is to make sure what they are trying to do is to going to benefit them and their family. And then beyond that, let's benefit everybody. Let's find a way to make the world a better place by being a badass and helping out when we can. And in fact, we've already created the Badass of the Year Award, which we've given out twice at two major award music award shows. And the Badass of the Year Award has that bottle. It looks like the iconic bottle there, an acrylic bottle of it. And it says, for humanitarian deeds and charity work and for being uh, showing copious amounts of badassery. <laughs> and it's for people that that get out and see if they can make a difference beyond just themselves. And so we are branding badass as greatness. Love it. If you're doing great things, you are a badass. The, the badass bitch, where it's, my people think that sounds harsh in their ear. No, no, no. A, a female television producer is the one who suggested his name. She said, us girls who get out and we work our butts off to get the positions that we're in, we're some badass bitches. And so I go, you know, <laughs> she goes, you should make a can like that. I go, I'm going to honor that. Because you're right, this is this is about doing great things and hard things. The world is hard, and you got to be tough, and you got to get out there and make it happen. At the same time, though, make sure you tap into your compassion, into the the sweetness of life, because life can be dangerous these days. Make sure we remember our humanity. So badass is greatness and humanity. I love it. I love it. And you know, sometimes I'm a little tough. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming on today. Keep us posted. We always want to know what you're up to next. And garageallspirits.com. Garageallspirits.com. And let me just say something about you, young Aww. lady. Since we met, and, and I, I want to extend this to both of you. Since we met, you have taken this to your heart. Like, it, it feels more, you're not just kind of helping some guy out with the whiskey company. You've taken this to your heart, and you've been so kind and wonderful to us about telling people about us, about sharing the message about, uh, about what we're trying to do, but also how great the product is. And so it really means a lot to me. I'm so glad that we've worked together on some things that we've met, because you guys, you don't know what it means to me to be a, uh, an entrepreneur fighting the world. about This is a big world I'm fighting. You know, these big boys got millions and billions of dollars, and I'm trying to get my way out there. So having people come in and support us and love on us the way you guys have, it's, it makes the world a difference, and we appreciate it so much. And so I want to thank you very, very much. I think he just said we're a couple badass bitches. I, I feel like a badass bitch. <laughs> you know, bitch. That, that's how you get from A to B. There you go. Badass bitch. <laughs> we love it. Well, thank you for coming out today. You're going to keep us posted. Um, GarageOldSpirits.com. You got a lot of cool content on there, guys. You can get your barbecue sauces, and hopefully in the next couple months you can, you know, get. And I love these: the kick-ass cola, the blazed mule, the sour badass. I know some sour badass. Some sour badass. <laughs> um, Hot Rod Ricky. Go on the website, read about Hot Rod Ricky, read about his story, and of course, my favorite, the badass Arita.
Genesis Laser Aesthetics here in Bastrop, Texas, we offer the most advanced technology in facial rejuvenation and body contouring. With pelvic floor strengthening, Mcella is an FDA approved treatment for urinary incontinence. Msculpt Neo can reduce fat by 30% and increase muscle mass by 25%. How about a facelift without needles, surgery, or downtime? Don't drive to Austin. Our friendly staff will be glad to set up a free consultation. 512-581-5016. So we were talking about badasses a while ago. A living badass a right living here with us. Right <laughs> here with us. Right here with us. This is my good friend, Jay Head. And you might recognize this gentleman. And I'm going to let you talk about you. Me? Okay. I'm going to let you talk about you. But okay. For sure. Well, I'm just, uh, I'm a kid from the middle of nowhere in Texas who uh, happened to, I guess, love attention and love be <laughs> being the center of it. And so uh, growing up, my parents thought I'd be real good for showbiz. And so they sent me out uh, to Los Angeles and I met with a couple of coaches and, you know, uh, agents and managers and started kind of going and I uh, started doing a few auditions and somebody let me stick around on set and I started doing a few bigger and bigger projects. I'm uh, mostly known for a movie called The Blind Side with uh, Sandra Bullock. You know, Jay, I know everybody at home is like, that's where I know. Oh, yeah. I love that. That's why I wanted that moment. Like, give them a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. Incredible movie. You're incredibly talented. And he, you know, the kid had millions of dollars in box office revenue before he ever became an adult, you know. <laughs> so he's being a little bit like, oh, I was just one to act. But incredible. Well, incredible now that actor. they've put together Blindside, and we're talking about the fact that you were a kid then, mm -hmm. and you are certainly an adult now, I think there might be a video you might want to, maybe we'll set up a video that's gone viral. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting, you know, people... As loud as people were celebrating the movie a few months ago, they were as loud with all, you know, all the stuff coming down with the scandal. Mm -hmm. And uh, real quick, I got to say, it was very, I was very proud to be able to tell my agent, my manager, I love being a part of a scandal that I did nothing wrong in. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Let's definitely yes. take a look and then we'll talk some more about it. I didn't do fucking shit. I didn't fucking do this. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of this. Uh so for clarity, Jay, I, I understand you had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it. You know, it's just, yeah, I literally, you know, it's interesting. They're like, you know, did you know all that was going on? Were you aware of that? Were you a part of that? As a 12-year-old, like, who just showed up to, and had a paper full of words to say? No, I had no idea. And it, well, and you shared with us that you were more likely hanging out with Quentin. Yeah, he yeah. I, you know, I, I was a kid. I showed up. That's what, you know, everybody wants to know, you know, how... What you know? What were you doing? Were you scheming? No, I was. I was hanging around on set, probably looking, you know, for something to do because there's not much. You know, it's a lot of waiting around on set, especially oh, as a yes kid. It is. You know, and you know, if I'm not sitting around talking, you know, talking with Quentin, I was probably at school. You know, doing you know doing school stuff, which is the worst thing ever as an actor being on set as and, a, and being school. in school because oh, you're because it's like. I was a class clown before I was an actor. No. You know, imagine that. Yeah, 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 yeah no. You imagine that. Me? No way, Jay. No, I, I was. Yeah, no, I was. I was the loudest. I was in the back of the class. I, there's, a, there's never a time not, not to make a joke. It was something was always funny, you know. And so, being locked in a school, you know, being in a room with a set teacher when you're just, just you. There's nobody to make fun with. It's, right. it's, it's kind of. Oh, it feels like you're being locked up. So it's. I definitely took. You know, when I when there's a lot of lag time and I get to, you know, hang out. I took full advantage of just being a kid. Well, you had already Absolutely. talked about you did quite a bit of work before Blindside, but then you've also continued. You're mm -hmm. a very good actor. Okay. And unfortunately, we're well into a strike. We are. We are. We're actually at, right now we are at day 99, uh, the strike uh, for actors. The writers, uh, they wrapped up after 148 days. They were they cut a deal. Uh, actors are still in th at the negotiating table for, for union. And it's a... Uh, it's a weird time. It's it's officially become man versus machine in the day and age of a lot of people are saying, you know, what actors aren't getting paid enough. Well, you know, people don't know that, you know, 85% of actors make less than $26,000 a year off of yep. acting. It's that's yep. that 15, really 5%, you know, the 90, you know, that make the billions and millions and millions of dollars. All the others, they get paid not much at it's all. It's a job. You know, it's a job. It and it is. is. And yep. it's, you know, when you're, 
a higher company, you know, higher company or you have a bigger company, you get paid a lot more when you're not and you're working at the bottom of the pole, then you're that's how it is. And that's how it is with everything. And it industry. costs money to do that, right? You have to have headshots, you it know, is. Uh, training, taping, look, it, a career it, like any it, other. It takes a lot of hard work. It's a whole thing. And, you know, I love and bravo to, you know, a lot of actors that, you know, and, you know, I know actors that have never done anything and they, you know, they're still giving it a shot and they're, they're taking the classes. They're, they're getting their headshots. They're mm -hmm. focusing on their socials. You know, they're doing all the kind of, it's, it's a lot of grunt work, um, but it's one of those things where, you know, some win and some don't, and that's, oh. just, that's just life. Well, exactly, right. yes. Yeah. And I was thinking that you have to have some pretty tough skin, class clown or not, right? Somebody's looking at your picture and going, no. Oh, yeah. And, and that, oh. you know, it is, that, that chance is gone, and it, now we're waiting for the next one. It's an it's a interesting business. I, uh, when, I was, when I was seven and I was just getting started, I was a child actor. I hadn't done anything yet, maybe, maybe a commercial or something. Uh, I'd got a, an interview with a very prominent children's TV network. And uh, went and did the interview, and I was raised, you know, be, be polite, be respectful. You say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, please. Texas, Thanks. Oh yeah, exactly, boy, boy, boy. exactly, yeah. right. And so I got there. I thought I killed it. My dad sat with me. He thought I killed it. Right? We do great. And I left, and my man, my first manager called and said, "What did you do? What what, what happened? What went wrong?" We were we had no idea what she's talking about. She said, "Well, the producer said, and I quote." That kid had the personality of a 75-year-old man and will never work in this town. Don't ever bring him back in this office ever again. Oh, my wow. God. Because he had manners. Because I was polite. <laughs> they, wa they wanted some kid to come in. California. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they wanted some kid to come in, you know, bouncing, all off, the bouncing off on Mountain Dew and, you know. And so <laughs> I learned that. That's when I learned, like, oh, no, no. Like, they want, they got, you got to be the character. You got to be yeah, that the guy. Main yeah, you got to be that guy. And so. Yeah. Uh, I made sure anytime uh, in the future I had to go into that building, I, I became a routine. Two bags of candy before you walk in there, and then right. we'll see if you, <laughs> we'll see if we, they think you're boring now. When they can't get you to stop moving, we'll see if they think you're boring now. Seventy-five miles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, so and that's like you said, tough skin. That's it's part of it. And I, you know, I don't say I don't share that story to get sympathy or anything. I share that story because that is the reality. Uh, you, it is a lot of it's business, and as we are people, but you are a lot of times you're a number, and you're just yeah. a face. Well, uh, you, you know, um, not everybody knows, but I was the former mayor of Bastrop. Oh, and when you're an elected official, everything's your fault. Mm, and right, you yeah. make a decision, <laughs> half the people are mad and half the people are happy. And then the next decision, they're all mad. Exactly. It, you know, but it, it, you I'm get not it. comparing it. No, but you get it. It's the, yeah. It's, there's it's, just a part of it. You just have to take it and keep going. It's with yeah. the, you know, it's, it's everything has perks and everything has the things that you don't want to come with. You know what I mean? And so, right. yeah, the perks is, you know, being, being in this industry it does, you know, it's got some cool stuff that comes with it but it also comes with that that level of judgment from people that you know a lot of times before you even open your mouth it's like they already got it made up you know and so well you are certainly a very talented actor <laughs> and not only do are you buddies with quentin and you've worked with sandra and tim mcgraw but you also i hear that you've been on yellowstone i have i was i snuck in uh on that for for an episode uh, about a season a half, season and a half ago uh, why, one of the wildest shoots I've ever been on. I've never shot a gun on camera. That was fun. <laughs> uh, didn't know I was going to do that until I got there. They were like, because in the script, it doesn't say I ever shoot. It just says I, you know, I aim, you know, and for, for the scenes I was doing. And I get there and they hand me this full on double barrel shotgun. And they're like, all right, you're going to aim it at him. But when you fire, you got to make sure you aim up so you don't hit, hit him with a, with the, I was like, I didn't want to, this was before Alec Baldwin, so I didn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I was. Well, Jay, like, they said, they read that you were from Texas. They were that's, like, oh, he, that's you know what I said. To do it. Well, I told them, I was like, I can shoot a gun, no problem. But it was the, <laughs> you're going to shoot at this person, but don't hit them. What? That, <laughs> exactly. That it threw me off. So they were like, make sure you like dramatically like turn when you, when you do. So as I'm firing, I made sure like aim over there so <laughs> i'm trying to like naturally fall and like make it look like i actually but it was a great time and it, it, it looked good on camera so uh but it was All a right. it was a great time getting to shoot a, you know because i'm from texas i shoot guns you know i grew up shooting guns i have guns but never on camera never at somebody, never so. at somebody. <laughs> right. there's a few people i'd like to never talk about that right now but i'm excited that you've come back to texas mm -hmm. right and you're now living in the austin area and as soon as this 
uh, strike lifts, and I hope those guys get everything they deserve. Absolutely. I have to say, because unless you've worked in the film industry, you do not understand how much work it is um, and how underappreciated a lot of these people are. So um, you have my full support. And, uh, but I'm excited you've come back here and I, I'm sure we're about to explode. We have new film studios opening up here in Bastrop. Of course, there's a new one also in San Marcos, in San Marcos. that's opening yep. up. Yeah. And so lots of filming. Back when I was an agent, many, just a few years ago, since I'm only 29, <laughs> um, Texas was second only to Los Angeles in mm -hmm. the film industry. And those film initiatives that we lost over time really hurt us. Yes. And a lot of that stuff went to Louisiana and Oklahoma and New Mexico, and but it's coming back. Yeah, it right? is. It is. Uh, so many people want to be here. Uh, it's 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 you know, it's a great place. It's to a be. great place you to have be. everything. It is, and it's especially Austin. You know, I've never. I'm, I grew up in a middle of nowhere town. You know, one of those. And so being in Austin, it's 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 that perfect mix of like it feels like a city, but I don't feel overwhelmed like I did in Los. Like L.A. is a jungle. Yeah, so you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, so it's and everybody it's so tainted by the industry. Industry. Everybody. Everybody's looking for something. Everybody's got an angle. Nobody's just nice right. to you for nothing. Right. And um, so being back here, I get that genuine feeling of people are just. I'm nice just because I'm nice. Right. You know, what I mean? you know, twenty minutes east, and you can be in Bastrop. Right? That's right, I and mean, it's beautiful. And I like I've I've been on this lot a few times, and like I I would love to see stuff shot out here because I think it's a great spot. And I I agree with you. I think I think give it about three or five years. And I think uh, I think Austin will be right back out there battling with Los Angeles for the top spot. I do too. I really do. Well, thank you so much for coming out Best and talking to us. I'm so we can't wait to see what you do. Next. We're gonna follow you everywhere. Right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You, you guys can find me on uh, Instagram and TikTok, uh, official J Head. Uh, who knows what's gonna be up there? You'll never know. Uh, so you'll see. Uh, so yeah. Great. Thank absolutely. you so much, Jay. What a great show! It was a great show. I can't believe that Ron Stone has us eating whiskey, drinking it two different ways. <laughs> and slather it on. Slather uh, yeah, it on. Yeah. And what a dear way to talk about being a badass. Absolutely. And then, of course, my own little badass day head. Oh, my goodness. He's an amazing guy. He's an incredibly talented actor. and So friendly. And he just cracks me up with his with his video that went viral. <laughs> I love it. I I'm love so it. glad he had nothing to do with it. I mean, it was such a great perspective. I was 12 years old. Are you kidding me? I was right. going to school and sitting in front of a camera. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm so excited to see where everything goes for, for him after this rider strike is over. So we'll see. Wishing him nothing but the best. And I bet we can get him to come back and see us. I bet we can too. So guys, you don't want to miss a episode of the Heart of Bastrop Talk Show. So go to our website, theheartofbastrop.com or log on to our new YouTube channel. Just put in the Heart of Bastrop. You can watch it that way. Uh, we'll see you guys next week.